Welcome to the second video in the five factors of design. I'm going to introduce factor number three to you in this video. And just like in the previous one, at various points I want you to pause the video and I want you to copy down the information as notes into your class notebook or jotter. I've also got an activity for you that I'd like you to do as well. And again, you'll have to pause the video and you'll have to do the activity into your jotter. Let's have a quick recap of where we're at. So far we've looked at function and performance. Now we have to look at the third design factor, ergonomics. An incredibly important design factor because if you want to be a successful product designer, you have to understand the ergonomics. What is ergonomics? This is our first slide that we're going to have to copy down. All right, let me explain it to you first and you can pause it and copy it down. An ergonomic product is a product which is easy to use. Ergonomics is the study of making things easy and intuitive to use. And it's so important because when a product is easy to use, then people feel happy using it, they feel satisfied, they feel content that they use it. If something was not easy to use, if it was not ergonomic, then we would be dissatisfied using it. It would be confusing, it would be complicated. It would leave us feeling bad about it. When we're thinking about ergonomics, we think about ease of use in three different ways. We think about its comfort, safety and anthropometric data. We're going to explain what that means in a minute, but for now, pause the video, copy that slide into your notes. So let's go back. Anthropometric data. What is that? Anthropometrics is all about the size and the shape of humans. Because after all, every human in the world is a different size and a different shape. The manufacturers of shoes and trainers know this because they have to sell shoes and trainers in all different sizes. So that everyone from a toddler to a massive basketball player can fit into a pair of Nike or Adidas trainers. But it's not only your feet well, it's not only the size of someone's feet that differs across the world. Everything else differs as well. The space between our eyeballs, the length of our nose, the width of our hand, the length of our leg, the size of our waist, how tall our ears are, how round our head is. Every single size and measurement you'd care to make of a human being differs all across the world. And if you want to make a product which is ergonomic, which is easy to use, then you have to understand anthropometrics and how people change their size and shapes. Pause the video now, copy that slide into your jotter. Let's go back and visit that scooter again. So now that we know ergonomics is all about comfort, safety and anthropometrics, how have those three things influenced the design of this e-scooter? How did the designer make that e-scooter ergonomic? How did they make it easy to use? Let's have a look. So, let's start at the top left and go down this. In terms of anthropometric data, the foot plate is exactly the right size for a man's foot. Next one down, comfort. The hand grips are made of soft foam. Then we're considering safety. The designers had to think about safety. The foot plate has got a kind of grippy surface on it so that the rider doesn't come skidding off it. There's another comfort feature in the mudguard. The mudguard stops the back of this uh, rider's trousers getting all muddy and wet. The anthropometric data, the hand grips, are just the right width apart. So when the rider is standing on this, it's nice and comfortable. And in fact, some high-performance e-scooters have adjustable heights and widths so that they can accommodate people from all over the world. The handlebars are also the correct height. In terms of safety... The scooters get front and back brakes, and in terms of comfort, the suspension and the soft tyres give a smooth ride. So we would say that that scooter is ergonomic, it's comfortable, it's safe to use, and the designer has made use of anthropometric data to make sure all the sizes and shapes of things are correct. I want you to pause the video at this stage. I'd like you to do your own drawing of an e-scooter and copy these words exactly just like I've done around the picture in the centre of your jotter.
Okay, let's move on. Got an activity for you. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to think about the first five letters of your name. And I want you to choose five products which start with those letters. So, if your name was Fiona or Fraser or something like that, you could choose a fork because it starts with an F, just like I've done here. I want you to complete the following table in your jotter. Uh, and using my example, uh, which has been provided, you can use drawings in your answer. This is always true of design and manufacture. If you would be if you're better answering a question using a drawing, then you can do that instead of words. Okay, but in each case, I want you to write down the product. I want you to describe how comfort has influenced its design, how safety has influenced its design, and how anthropometric data has influenced its design as well. So the example I've given you here is of a fork. And I've said that the handle, I'm talking about comfort here, the handle has been rounded to make it comfortable to hold. I'm talking about safety in the next box, and I've said that the prongs are pointed, but they're not so sharp as to injure the user. So a fork's quite good at stabbing a carrot or a chip, but it's not that good at stabbing a human. So some safety has been incorporated into its design. And finally, in terms of anthropometric data, I've said here that the size of human hands has affected the length of the handle. So I want you to have a go as well. I want you to pick the first five letters of your name. And if you can't think of a product from those letters, then pick another letter. Pick a product that does. All right. But I want five products and I want you to complete a table like this for each product. Pause the video now and have a go at that.